Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all well. Welcome back. It's nice to have you back here. And if you're new here, you're very, very welcome. My name is Gloria and this is a thousand shades of glow. On this channel, we deal with everything lifestyle, but we have a very special love for fragrance. And I know you're here because of that. That's why you're watching this video. All right. Okay. Guys, spring is upon us. Spring is here. And I wanted to share my lovely, special spring bottles. Those bottles that come out in the spring, those little bouquet of flowers in a bottle. Well, I've got a couple to share with you today. Voila. Yeah. So come with me. Right. The first one we have here. This is Miss Dior. This is Miss Dior. And this is the 2021 version. There's been a lot of versions of Miss Dior, a lot of flunkers, different years. I feel like they discontinue and then they bring a new one again. So this one is the 2021 version. I believe there's a 2024. I can't, I can't even keep up with Christian Dior and their Miss Dior's. So this one is an amber floral. And this one, very beautiful. It has the notes of iris. It has peony. It has rose. It has fruity notes of apricot and peach. And this one is a very nice, soft, warm, powdery, creamy fragrance that's very, very feminine. Really, really feminine. It has some sweetness to it, some powderiness to it. Uh, voila. This is, like I said, this one is very feminine, but it's also very, very youthful. Very easy to wear, very spring friendly. I think summer friendly, very classy, very, very elegant. Voila, so that was Miss Dior. The next one here is my Barberies, and this is my Barberies. Uh, let's talk about this bottle. You know, this bottle is the one that drew me to this fragrance. Uh, I first smelled this fragrance uh, in a magazine. Uh, smelled, I loved the fragrance itself, but the, the bottle, I just had to get this one. Very reminiscent of the trademark uh, Burberry's trench coat. And it's got this horn, horn um, cup. This bow is made of woven English gabardine, which was, uh, I think this one was uh, originated by Mr. Thomas Burberry himself. Very, very English uh, fragrance here. This one has a slew of notes, a lot, a lot of notes, a lot of florals and fruits in here. We, we have the top notes of pea blossom. This one has grapefruit, mandarin, orange. It has bergamot. It has lemon. It also has freesia and kins and flor and green notes. It has uh, violet, passion fruit, so many things in here. It has leather, damask rose. It has patchouli you name it. So this has a whole heck of a lot of notes. Now this fragrance is supposed to conjure up images of an English garden after the rain. Some people who have said they can smell petrichor in this uh, fragrance, you know, when it has been quite dry and dusty and then it rains that that soil has some certain smell. Uh, that is not named in the notes here, but there are people who say that they can smell petrichor, and I wish I could. I really wish I could smell that, but I can't. Lots of fruit notes, lots of florals, but there is nothing of a bearing here. The rose, everything is done very well. The pea blossom, pea blossom, the rose, the violet, everything is done very well. This is very spring friendly, summer friendly. You can wear this one in autumn. So this one is coming out for spring. I've had this bottle for the longest time and I feel bad that I have not done it justice. So I'm going to be wearing a lot of this for spring. Okay. Our next fragrance is 
Orange Blossom by Joe Malone and I spoke about this one in the last video that I did on Joe Malone. This one has Tangerine Blossom, it has Orange Blossom, it has Lilac, it has Vetiver and it has some Iris uh, but for me I feel like the citrusy notes stand out much more. They are very dominant here. The Orange Blossom uh, the tangerine blossom, very, very dominant. I don't get a lot of the floral. It's a very nice, fresh, zingy, citrusy scent. Very, very beautiful. My color has deepened quite a bit, which I like. <laughs> it really looks like proper citrusy juices. Voila, another great one for spring, for summer. Very fresh, very zingy, very citrusy. Makes you feel nice and clean and fresh. Voila, that was Orange Blossom by Joe Malone. And this is a cologne, by the way, guys. I keep forgetting to say that this is a cologne. Our next fragrance, guys, is this one. This is Plum Blossom. And this one is from Max and Spencer from their autograph range. I did uh, an autograph range video. And it's here in the channel. You might want to look that up. And this is Plum Blossom. It's one of three that I featured from this range. This one has mandarin orange. It has peony, has musk. It has sandalwood. This is a warm, fruity floral with a pop of pink pepper. Spiciness, a little bit of spiciness. It also has some damask rose oil in it. A nice light airiness to it. And I just love, I love blossom fragrances for spring. I find them very, very appropriate for spring. And a lot of what I have featured today have blossoms, some sort of blossoms. This has average projection. The uh, sillage is good enough. Uh, I will give this one about six hours longevity. Really beautiful warm flora with a warm base of sandalwood, a nice warm sandalwood in the dry down. So that was Plum Blossom Autograph Range from Max and Spencer. Our next fragrance is this one. This is another spring friendly fragrance. This is Nashi Blossom. This is Nashi Blossom by Jo Malone in this cute little unique bottle. They don't usually do this. This is a limited edition bottle. I think they do have this fragrance in, um, they have it in the regular bottle, okay, in their regular light cologne bottles. So Nashi Blossom, for those people who don't know what Nashi is, Nashi is a pear. So this is the blossom of a pear blossom. This is Nashi Blossom. It has lemon and apple. It has rose and mask. <sighs> this smells like a crisp green apple. Uh, when you first spray this, it's like a crisp uh, green apple that has got some citrusiness to it. Uh, and then some floral tones of that pet nashi blossom. And then in the dry down, you have that beautiful rose and mask. Beautiful, fresh, fresh floral. But it does warm up in the dry down and the floral notes become much stronger. But so is the mask. The mask gives it a nice warm sensuality. So that was a Nashi Blossom by Joe Malone. Our next one, guys, is this one here. This one is Kasamat. This is Kasamat Razana. And uh, I have recently featured another Kasamat here, Kasamat Ebhar. Very beautiful bottle with that beautiful blue ribbon. Really, really nicely done. The bottle is really well done. This is by Rasasi, Middle Eastern. And yeah, uh, yeah, they always do the most beautiful bottles. I just really, this range, this Casamat range is really good. The juices are really beautiful. But what has drawn me to them mostly is the bottle. But I was not disappointed by this one. Oof, this is another beautiful one with an apple, bergamot, and lemon. Yeah, that's a theme for spring. Alongside the spring florals, 
is all the apples, the lemons, the citrusy notes. This one smells fresh, clean, zingy, uh, slightly tart. Yeah, very fresh when you first spray it. But as it progresses, it begins to warm up. It warms up on the skin. It becomes a nice, warm, musky uh, fragrance. The woods begin to come through. Uh, it moves from being that fresh, crisp, clean into something very warm, very musky, very sensual. A beautiful, beautiful one for spring. Okay, I'm going to be enjoying this one. That first spritz of this Rosanna, really, really nice, really beautiful apple, apple crispy, yummy, zingy, zesty, clean, all those wonderful things. That was Rosanna by Kasamat, Kasamat Rosanna by Rosasi. All right, okay. Guys, our next fragrance is this one. This is a C Fiori Eau de Parfum by Amani. Unfortunately, a discontinued one. So this has got the notes of <laughs> black currant nectar. This has mandarin orange. It has neroli and rose. It has patchouli, musk accord and vanilla. Guys, this fragrance is so yummy. This is so yummy. It's sweet. It's syrupy. Uh, black currant. This beautiful, strong black currant. It smells like an ice cream with black currant and vanilla and a hint of rose water, or a milkshake like a black currant vanilla milkshake with a hint of rose water really nice syrupy warm sweet creamy <sighs> this smells so good this smells so good and it's very nice and feminine and very youthful uh even with that rose accord and this pink color <laughs> When you see this at first, you feel like this is going to be so mature and so rosy and powdery. It's not. It, yeah, so loads of yummy vanilla, black currant, rose goodness in this bottle. Voila. And last but not least, guys, we've got, ta-da, <laughs> Miss Daisy or Daisy by Marc Jacob. And this one is another woody floral. I know this one is loved by many people, especially young ladies, and especially young ladies back in 2010s. This was all the rage. This was all the rage. And I know a lot of a lot of young ladies who say that this was like their first major fragrance or like their first serious fragrance that they either got as a birthday gift or they were gifted by their parents or they bought for themselves but this was like a really big fragrance it still is okay it still is i i know that there are still people who care for this one i bring it out to play when the weather is right like in spring and sometimes in the summer this is a floral woody and this one has violet leaf it has grapefruit it has violet it has strawberry it has white woods musk and vanilla okay so this has a lot of white florals as you have heard white florals white wood and then it has that vanilla and the musk <sighs> unfortunately for me i don't detect the strawberry and i wish i did but this is what and i have heard people saying that they smell something like banana yeah, I mean, I do feel like it smells a bit like banana when it's supposed to have a strawberry. So I don't know how they did that. Uh, it has that slight woodiness from the white wood. But it's also very, well, not very powdery, but it is powdery. But it's not like a very mature powderiness. It's still very youthful and looks nice on the vanity. It's an easy reach. Yeah, it's an easy reach in good weather. And uh, uh, yeah, so Daisy was our last one. Voila. So yeah, performance here. Mm, it's not great performance. I feel like after four hours, you will need to reapply, especially for me. Might last a bit longer on clothes. But yeah. So voila, you guys, please let me know what you're wearing this spring. Okay, I know a lot of people prefer light florals for spring and maybe light fruity notes. 
Let me know what you're wearing for this spring. And, and until next time, you guys, God bless you. And yeah, so ciao.